After years of delays, the much-anticipated trial of two Brentwood Bay men accused of killing a horse by hanging is underway in Victoria. Check News reporter Kylie Stanton has a story. Show me your signs. It's been a fight from the beginning. Protesters lining the streets outside the Victoria Courthouse demanding justice for Jalupe. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, after nearly two years, what's being called one of the worst cases of animal cruelty is going to trial. I can't imagine anything more horrific than this way of executing an animal. The aging horse was killed by hanging on September 15th of 2009, roughly six months after Kathy Mercer and her husband Al began looking to give the animal away, advertising on this website, Island Horses, hoping to find it an appropriate place to retire. David Whiffen's family took Jalupe in, who was cared for by Clayton Cunningham. But in a matter of months, Jalupe's health took a dramatic turn, and the SBCA took notice. The SBCA asked us to provide pictures of what the horse looked like, so we did. And then the rest of the images were of how he was before he died. And it, they're horrible, absolutely horrible pictures. In court, Jalupe was described as skin and bone emaciated with his ribs protruding. One witness who moved to the property that summer said the situation had repeatedly been brought to the attention of both Whiffen and Cunningham, but no action was taken, and SPCA orders requiring Whiffen provide either a special diet or euthanize the animal were also ignored. Instead, it's believed Jalupe was hung using an excavator. What would you like to see happen? Justice for Jalupe. Just I want to see, if, if they're found guilty, I want to see the maximum. Whiffen and Cunningham are charged with causing unnecessary pain and suffering to an animal and failing to provide necessities. If convicted, both could face a fine of $10,000 and up to five years in prison. The trial is scheduled to run for four days.